Meet Emma. Emma is a recent college graduate about to get her first big paycheck. She's very excited and determined to make the most of it. To this end, Emma has decided to make a spending plan and has settled on the framework outlined in our video, Spending Plans 101. There's just one problem. Emma followed our recommendation to use 20% of her paycheck for ESI, which stands for Early Debt Repayment, Savings, and Investing, but has no idea what to do with it. What should she do? Well, we've got her covered. As long as she follows this six-point plan, she should be set for the future. Step 1. Before doing anything, make sure you have adequate insurance. Health and long-term disability insurance are a must, though thankfully they're covered by most employers, while four other types of insurance, while almost as important, are more specific to your situation. You'll need car insurance if you own a car, homeowners or renters insurance if you own or rent a home, and life insurance if you have people dependent on your income. For more details on this, be sure to check out our website. Step 2. Assuming you're adequately insured, use your ESI money to build up a small emergency fund in your checking account say $1,000. This will prevent you from being financially derailed by any small emergency and should supplement the money you already keep in checking, enough to cover one to two months of expenses. Step three. Next, if you have a 401k, contribute as much as your employer will match, as this is basically free money. For more details on 401ks, be sure to check out our video, 401k and IRA 101. Step four. After making your 401k contribution, it's time to make a debt repayment plan ideally using our recommended website, and then start eliminating all debt with interest rates greater than 6%, starting with the highest rates first. However, this does not mean neglecting the minimum payments on your other balances, nor eliminating debt with interest rates below 6%, as ultimately, that money would be better served in an investment account. Step 5. Once all the 6% and more debt has been paid off, build up a much larger emergency fund in your savings account enough to cover at least six months of living expenses should you lose your job or fall ill. Step six, once your emergency fund has been built, take a breath, relax. You have built a solid financial foundation and thus are ready for the last step, using your ESI money to set what we like to call big time financial goals. These have a specified dollar amount and an end date and generally fall into four camps. Camp one, putting money for big ticket items like a house down payment, car, or wedding into a high-yield savings account for a riskless return. Camp 2. Using the money to start a side business. Camp 3. Investing the money into a college savings fund, like a 529 plan. For more details on this, check out our video, How to Save for College. Finally, Camp 4. Investing the money into a retirement account, like a 401k or IRA. For more details on this, be sure to check out our two videos, How to Invest and 401k and IRA 101. Finally. While it's hard to go wrong with any of these camps, we just have two more pieces of advice to follow. 1. Make sure at least 10 to 15% of your paycheck is going towards retirement once your financial foundation is established. 2. Make a savings plan for each one of your financial goals, including your emergency fund. And don't worry, our website makes this process a breeze. Congratulations, you have finished our Building Your Financial Foundation curriculum. If you want to see our free recommendations for high yield savings accounts, investment solutions, or just more educational material, be sure to check out our website.